Here's why you should be using Procreate or Illustrator to design all your print and cut projects for your Cricut machine. Hi everyone, welcome to Quick Tip Tuesday. I wanted to show you why you should be using a different app such as Procreate or Illustrator to design all your print and cut projects. So the reason why you should be using a different app such as Procreate or Illustrator, we're going to be using Procreate today, is because you can get a lot more of your design on your mat if you use an external app compared to just using Cricut Design Space. So you're going to get a lot more design and you're going to be wasting less materials. So today we're going to be using Procreate. I'm going to show you my design just through Cricut Design Space and how much space I can get on my print and cut layout. And I'm also going to be showing you how I've done it uploading from Procreate and just how much more space we can get on our design. So let's get into it. So we're going to start by uploading our design on Cricut Design Space and then we'll go ahead and resize it. I'm going to make my design about five centimeters and you can resize this by dragging or typing in the dimensions. Once I'm happy with the size, I'm going to begin copying my design and putting as many of the designs as I can on my Cricut Design mat. So with this design, I can get about three in a row and only three rows of my dinosaurs. So now I'm going to select all of my designs and attach them together. And then you'll see that the whole design is around that 17 centimeter mark. I usually like to make my designs around 20 centimeters, but you can see when I drag it, it will come up with this red warning sign on the side. So what you can do is you continue to drag your design in and eventually that warning sign will go away. And you can see it's still around that 17 centimeter mark. So what we're going to do is make it and then send this to the printer. I'm using A4 paper. And if you'd like to see the full design sticker process, you can watch some of my other videos. So we'll hit continue and send this to the printer. And I always get rid of the add bleed as it adds a gray outline and use your system dialog to print. We're going to do the same with Procreate. So the canvas size I use is 15.4 centimeters by 19.7. If you'd like to know why I have a video on this as well. So we'll do the same thing and paste our design in. I always like to use my drawing guide to make sure I can get the exact dimensions. So I'm going to make my drawing guide about five centimeters and this will help me put as many of my designs in with the correct dimensions. So I'll paste my design in and I'll try and fit as many as, as I can. Sometimes with your designs, you do have to get a little bit creative of how they're going to fit. So I really want to fit four across, so I'm just going to play around. So sometimes it's upside down, but that will still cut fine. Then what I'm going to do is pinch them all together, so they're on one layer, and copy and paste this as many ways I can fill down. So this way I've got about four in the row and four down as well. So I'm able to fit more dinosaurs. We're now going to upload this onto Design Space. I always choose complex when I'm uploading them into print and cut. So click print and cut image. And then upload that into the Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to turn off the other design and then we're going to resize this one into my 15.4 by roughly 19.7. And you can see with this one, I can get it over that 20 centimeter mark instead of under 17. So it's already got a lot more space. So we're going to again, send this to the printer on A4 piece of paper. So send this to the printer, use the system dialog. And I'm gonna print both out and compare the pair. So now I'm going to show you both designs. You could see when I was uploading Cricut Design Space that difference, but this is once they're printed out. So this is the original Cricut Design, and this is just how much more space you can get with your upload from Procreate. Obviously it still doesn't reach the whole entire sheet of paper, but it's so much better and you're not gonna be wasting as much material. So definitely recommend using another app for your printing cut projects. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you have any videos you'd like to see on Cricut projects, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh,